I'm here on Torchlight 2 with the level 42 Berserker class. Just gonna go over kind of the skills, like how to play it. But by now I've got all the, or like all the final skills. And just gonna, when you start off, bring it up, uh, you start with this, I'll put it down here. Which, um, as you go for kind of the first uh, 14 levels, you want to get this up a few levels because that's kind of your main attack. This howl I'm using even now, which it scares people and everything about them slows down. The more you level it up, the more it slows and for, the, for longer. But in every situation, you just want to use that straight away and then you take like less damage because their casting speed and their attack speed slow they can't run away because it slows downloads um, so that is like a must have keep that going all the way this you don't really need to level up too much just one or two times to get the power of it up then shadow burst is also another one which kind of a staple if you want to stay alive uh, you rush forwards and up to it starts with two enemies, like if you hit them you gain I think it's 5% of your health back and then the more you level it up the more health you get and then for every tier you get health from an extra target as well so you can jump in, scare everyone kinda hit them with something and then jump back out and while jumping out you gain the health back that you will have lost by standing in the middle this wolf shade is useful at the beginning it just summons an extra wolf which is really powerful if you just if you're kind of regaining some health then you summon this and he'll just run in and attack for a bit I think he lasts 15 seconds at the start and then uh, once you hit tier 1 it's 30 seconds and then it moves up and then it's got a 1 minute cooldown uh, Shadowbind I haven't used at all and neither of these two but Storm Hatchet I'll come to in a minute This I've only just started using this. So for level about 1 to 35 I was basically using this howl. Uh, I started using Northern Rage which is this. This Still use this, level it, level it up as much as you can because when you're surrounded by tons of stuff you just jump and all these fishes go out and they don't stop when they hit something so they'll go out and they kind of home in on stuff so that just wipes them out and gives you a chance to jump back out. Then, uh, Savage Rush. This is a really weird one. Um, I used it because I thought it was something different. But you hold it down, you kind of run along as this wolf and you hurt people a tiny bit. But you, I guess you could use it to kind of get out of places. But it doesn't really do very much damage. It looks pretty good with 500 physical damage over 5 seconds, but it's you kind of have to stay hitting them for ages to be able to do that much. And it runs down your mana. Just, oh wait, that's something else. It just runs down your mana constantly. So by the time you come out of it, you kind of need to heal or something, and your mana has just been drained completely. So don't bother with that. And then this chain snare, um, that just pulls people in. Because this whole class is based around uh, melee, or melee, whatever you call it. Uh, don't use this. But two weapons, it's just about doing that. And what I finally realised at level 35 is that you've got to base it completely on criticals. So you want to level up your dexterity as much as possible, and vitality as well. And then as you go, you want to get this executioner skill which just lets you execute people and the charge rate goes up but from level 35 I got this storm hatchet and this is literally the best skill like possible so I've got it on my right click down here it throws a thing, it doesn't do much damage but it charges, starts by charging 5% of the charge bar and that's down here and when you hit like 100% of it, then every attack you do is critical. And when you hit tier 2 on this, 
which I've only just hit tier 1. But when you hit tier 2 it throws 3 at once, so all 3 of them will do... Uh, they'll charge it by... well by the time you get there it'll be 14%. So... maths... Alright, so if you throw 3, like click it 3 times, it'll throw 9 hatchets and if all of them hit you'll get 100% straight away. And as you see it doesn't use too much mana like per one, and because you'll be throwing three, it'll charge in three shots. And then, for every hit you do, you get a critical. And then, going for this Blood Hunger skill, which I only leveled up once to start, because I wasn't really going for the critical stuff, but it heals you 5%, 5.5, it keeps going up for every critical hit you get. So, you throw three of them, and hit 100%, and then in, every time you hit someone, you do critical damage and then gain back all your health. So my play style is kind of I get a feeling I'm gonna die, but I've been using a different character for a bit. But yeah, it's kind of jump in, use this how I right, that didn't go well. I have no idea how to get past this. Uh, run. Alright. So you howl, kind of do that, and then just start punching stuff. You should do some criticals. You can always leap out if you're getting damage done to you. And then any of these sorts of guys, throw the hatchets in. They'll start charging up the charge bar. And then the more, what is it, the uh, dexterity you get up, the more criticals you'll hit just kind of anyway. And they'll obviously heal you with quite a lot of your health. And then, when you get to about here, you can kind of just hold down the hatchet thing, and you'll go straight into frenzy. And then you start hitting crits, like every every time you hit someone, and that just heals you straight up. So that's basically my strategy at the moment. Then, oh, I kind of forgot to show them off. But the ones you get at level 42, I haven't. They don't seem to be particularly useful. Um, this wolf pack one, it kind of five wolves go along. It seems like it'll be better when you get tier one because they don't just normally they disappear as soon as they hit one thing, which is kind of bad. The glacier thing is kind of the most useful at the moment. It just does that and then they all jump out. So if there's a big group over somewhere, you can just set them off below them. And wow, I'm going the wrong way. Where am I meant to be going? Ah, that way. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so you can set that going off below them. And then it will do a bit of damage to them. And eventually it will set them on fire and stuff as well. And there will be more uh, glaciers. I swear that's not what a glacier is. A geyser. That's all. Geyser. Geyser. I have no idea how it's pronounced. But... Yeah, then the hunter one is this. You kind of does four attacks, 360 completely, but it uses a hell of a lot of mana for what it is and for the amount of damage it does. And yeah, so normally by the time I've used this ice one, which does so much more, um, I've kind of ran out of the amount of mana that you need to use it. So none of them seem particularly useful, and also they don't really charge the charge bar a lot, which is kind of what you have to base everything on, eventually, because otherwise you just, you don't do enough damage, because in the early game you base it all on just hitting stuff, and it's kind of one, two shot, maybe three the further you get, but now at this point in the game it's kind of, wow, taking a lot of damage. But now that I'm in Frenzy, every hit I do, I get like 5% health back. And you want to be leveling them up way earlier than I did. Oh, that guy was pretty tough. But you can always use this leaping thing to gain back any health you have lost. these guys doing? 
So now that the charge bar's about here, I can kind of just hold down the hatchet thing. As long as they actually hit, and then it'll get me into frenzy. And frenzy only like starts depleting as soon as you've hit someone with it. So, because it'll stay there continuously as long as I don't hit anyone. But as soon as I take one hit on someone, then it only lasts six seconds. Yeah, so it'll then disappear in six seconds. There you go. When you go into frenzy, you also go a lot quicker. You like run faster, attack faster. All right. Looked like you could run down that slope. What's going on here? Oh, okay then. What the hell? Was that worth it at all? Seems like there should be more to it. Never mind. We use all this. So every kind of group you come across, you just do the same thing. You, then you start beating them. I'll just get rid of this stuff. Axe of skill. That looks pretty good. But obviously, single-handed weapons is what I'm trying to use. To just get rid of all the stuff I can't use. Send him back. Your pet has departed. And we'll try and get through this dungeon. Oh, what the hell? So you'll never kind of hit frenzy on against one enemy, but when you come up against groups of them, you should charge it up pretty quick. All right, I went the wrong way. And it also, if you kind of want to heal a bit. You can jump back and then just throw hatchets in. They don't do too much damage, but they will do a little bit. And then they'll get you into frenzy. And you can run back in and get all your health back anyway. But what I was doing wrong is that... Uh, here on the scales, I've leveled up this, which was terrible. This, which really didn't work. Um... On here, this just does more damage, so that was alright. That's when I get hit, like a wolf comes out of me and hits them back. And then the chain snare and the savage rush were pretty terrible. But what you want to be doing is pumping them into blood hunger, executioner, kind of any spare ones that you get. Um, and just getting the ones that kind of get your charge bar up. I don't actually know many that do. Alright, so this uh, is kind of a shield and any projectiles that hit it will bounce back, or well, 44% of them, and what is it for? No, 55% of them will kind of be hit back and hit the enemy again, and then 44% of those generate charge for you, which then charges this up, and you kind of just hit it every 10 seconds. Um, I don't know many others, but you want to be getting it so... Uh, there's also one that, yeah, this Frenzy Master, which lets your Frenzy kind of uh, go further, or it lasts longer, that's all. Oh, there you go. Kill him quickly. And you want to put most of your points in Dexterity rather than Strength. So I was just going for, like, normal damage. But you want to be getting crits instead because that's what gets you more health, what executes them, and it just charges the charge bar a lot faster, I think. I'm not too sure. But you want to put them in dexterity rather than strength because it's kind of what it's built around. So, also, when you hit Frenzy, not just your melee attacks are. Uh, kind of do critical damage. So here, if I use this uh, ice one, all the things that they hit also do criticals. So you can kind of melee people until you get critical and then start using spells. And then they do way more damage. Run 
through here. The slowing thing may not seem very useful, and it just seems like I'm using it all the time, but that's because it's kind of stopping me dying, because it's like halving the amount of damage that I take. Throw these hatchets in. Get my thing back up a bit. No idea where these slimes came from. Get this chest. Uh, where am I meant to be going? There we are. I don't actually know who we're fighting. I think they are a few levels higher than me. So I may die. But I'll try my best. Now that I've actually got some kind of points in the whole frenzy thing, I'm doing a lot better. Because before I was just dying so much. Because just normal attacks do not do enough damage. But once you get enough kind of enough points and dexterity, and enough of your attacks just do normal criticals, then you can kind of just tank the bosses and stuff. Because for every critical you hit, you then get five, six percent of your health back. And then by the time you're getting quite low on health, you go into the proper frenzy. And then every hit you do is getting you 5% of your health back. So there I basically just tanked it. Rather than using lots of different skills. So when you're using other ones you're not hitting the crits and getting your health back. You need to be. So there are quite a few things there. jump in, use all those sorts of things, so it hits all of them rather than just hitting one and then jump back out, start going against one person. I don't know if this is the box or not, seems to be dying pretty quick, I hope not. Yeah, okay. There's going to be some stronger guy somewhere else. Ah, eat walls. Oh, there's loads of these guys. Um, am I going the right way? No, it's the only way we can go. So another way to look at this hatchet thing is it basically just converts mana into charge because it uses like 15 mana or something and gets you 10% charge and then once you've upgraded the skill which lets your frenzy last longer then you can do that and by the time it's finished you've got enough mana back to just get you another bar of frenzy again and you could become quite a tank so I might actually have to just start the Berserker again and actually put the points into the critical stuff because I wasted so many on skills I didn't need. But a few of them are useful. I basically use these three and that's kind of it. And obviously the hatchet. It's on my right click because it's much easier to aim than Oh god. Why is it lagging? Go on frame rate. Up you go. There we are. Don't know why that happened. Mana is low. That is going to be the most annoying phrase from this game. It's just mana is low. I don't have enough mana. I hear it so much. So here I kind of want to go into frenzy before I jump into the middle of this pack. 
because otherwise I'll just take so much damage and I won't be dealing enough to stay alive. So you just stay back and throw hatchets in until you hit Frenzy. you and dexterity. Always try and put at least one point into focus every time just to keep your mana up because you will be using more and more as you go. Which is kind of what I haven't been doing. But take the advice. It will help you. Unless you're like the Ember Mage, then just put every point into it. Basically. And a few in armor. Or whatever it's called. Vitality, I think it is. And this guy has some quality shoulder pads. And a fist for a, a weapon. And this boss is a long way away. Gonna be it. Oh, there's a lever. It's gonna mean something. Can't wait till I can throw three hatchets each time. Oh, he killed himself. Run! need to hit someone. Oh wait, it doesn't start yet. Get that chest. It also like stuns them, the hatchet, so if enemies are running away, you can just hit them with one of them and then run up to them, get them again. Is there anything good there? No. Spectral Brute. Wand. Mysterious Helmet. That looks interesting. Oh no. Oh, I can't even use it. Oh, you have to be an Ember Mage. How disappointed. I'll put that in my shared chest. Because it looks hilarious. What are these book stands for? They don't seem to be very useful. Over to the other side.
up with these green lanterns? It's making this place really creepy. We've got to be nearly there. There's a large skeleton of a dragon. It's got to mean something. So everyone you come up against, make sure you hit them with a slow first. Oh god. What's up with that? My pack is full. Pack is full again. Uh, should be enough for the moment. So what's up with this guy? I swear there was something we were meant to get from a dragon. What? I am missing something. There's gotta be something here. Hit that lever. Eh, how disappointing. So gotta go back and then up again. Hmm. But we do have points for a new skill. So I will upgrade my hatchet. Because that will now get it to charge 10% of the old charge bar. And we still haven't got that up yet. So I don't know if I missed something down here. It's gotta be something to do with them. I guess not. This place seems a bit pointless then. Because we didn't really get anything from it. Never mind. Use up all the mana there. Good stuff. Oh, we can go this way. That may have been helpful to know. We need to hit these guys to get get our frenzy back up. Or we are going to die. But not anymore. Stone Lord. Alright. Anyone down here? Yes. Strong. Slow 
so him. Got a lot of attachments in. Go to town. Gets him down. And they have exploding demon people. How frustrating. Oh. That's an interesting rock. Ah. This. Is that what it said? I have no idea. Something like that. I yeah, fix. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing this is a boss fight. Use these geezers. Try and get the charge bar up. God, that was an explosion and a half. Load. Doing crits. Get out of the way. Slow him again. Good thing we hit enough crits normally to get our health back. We can dash behind him when he's about to attack as well. There you go. Not too difficult. Don't know why it teleported us over here. Can we go back? Oh! There we go. I knew there'd be some sort of quest item there. Get rid of some stuff we don't need. That's a cool bow. Might have to put that in my shared chest. Um, yeah, we don't really need any of this. No, I want them. Pick up these. Anything else? There's one guy over here. I wonder if these were here during the fight. I just didn't go near them. So they never attacked. Open the old chest. And there you go. Berserk class. At level 43 it is now. But make sure you put everything in vitality. Go for the criticals. And I didn't even do the quest. Or did I? I don't know. Oh no, it's this one. Robot Eye. Great. So it's a good class, good reliable class because of all the ways you can get health back. Um, so yeah. Have fun.